everyone, Spud here, and welcome to another episode of Spud Build the Zoo. Where today, of course, we will gonna build another animal enclosure. So, as you can see right here, I already built the walls and the pathways for the enclosure, but I didn't manage to connect it to the path to the main pathway. Um, so last episode we built the giraffe enclosure which is right over here So if you want to see how I built this I recommend to watch the last episode So there's nothing really changed here since the last episode So let's not talk about that anymore and let us start building the animal enclosure for today So this enclosure is for the super cute pandas and i want to start by building like a small river because based on the picture that i saw again in the internet they have that small river and i'm just gonna do the same thing what i did in the giraffe enclosure so i think let's actually start right here so first is i will just gonna make like a super small stone right there and then here here and then like that and then let's do like this probably like that and then slab slab and then stone stone and then slab or stone stair and um, i think that's good and then we were gonna fill that up as well that and then we were gonna break like three blocks just like that and then we're gonna extend that approximately like this let's just do let's just randomly break blocks just like this and yeah i think that looks good and then we're just gonna put some stone just like that i actually need some some of those again and because based on the picture that i saw it's not like a really a water stream just like a super super small water stream so i'm using some stairs to make that small water stream because we can waterlog this to make like that so it so it looks like super small stream and that is what i'm doing in case you didn't know um yeah i think we can put one here and then another stone and then like that and that and i think we were gonna end the stream right there um you know what let's actually extend this a little bit just like that and then one here here let's put a stone and i think we were gonna end the river or the water stream rather right here and yeah i think that actually looks pretty cool and then let's just waterlog this and yeah, that's that actually not bad. I just need to um, ex expand the stone part right here a little bit. Just like that. And yeah, that actually looks pretty cool for me. Let me know guys if you also like how it looks. Um, more right here. And then probably two more right here. And yeah, I actually really love that. So I just did to to make this looks much better just placing some slabs and some stairs and yeah actually i actually i actually really like that there we go i finally speak um properly um uh, yeah so that's the water stream done and yeah uh hmm, wait uh you know what that's already looks good um yeah so that's the water the water stream done so now let's work on to the greeneries of the enclosure all right so for the greeneries of course we will gonna add some bamboo so i think i will not gonna add a tree right here i i guess i will just gonna use bamboo as much as possible um i think we can put like a some bamboos right over here just like that and then we will gonna bone well it to speed up the process. Uh, I don't want that super tall. Um, I think, uh, yeah, I think that's the perfect height. And then we will gonna put string above the bamboo so that will prevent the bamboo uh, from growing much taller. So let's now 
bone mill this and more 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 and more uh, I think yeah that that looks pretty cool to me let's put a string on the top then do the same thing on this bamboo and then this will gonna be much shorter than the others to give some variation from the heights so let's put a string right there and then let's add more here so uh, let, let, let's actually add some couple of leaf block right here just like that and then let's put some bamboos there some bamboo here and some bamboo there and then we will gonna do the same thing we will gonna bone mill this and then we're gonna put a string above it to prevent from growing and then you i think we should also have like a very short bamboo like that so thanks for the for the high pick speed it grows pretty quickly and let's do the same thing right here um uh, yeah that's actually the perfect perfect height and then put that string there and then maybe we can put some leaves maybe just like that um yeah that actually looks cool let's all let us also put some leaves here just like that and then let's put some more here just like that that and maybe right here and one over here and then let's bone mill that again just like that that is perfect perfect height and let's put a string above it before it's grow there we go and let's let me bone mill you as well uh wait let's one more and let's put a string above it just like that and then you will gonna be much taller than the others and then let's put a string above that above that um there we go and then you could be on this height there we go you're the smallest one that's pretty cute and wait stop growing why i can't put string okay there we go and then let's put some wait this is acacia why i'm using acacia lips uh never mind uh, let's put some leaves there and some more leaves there and some more leaves just like that and yeah that actually looks pretty cool so yeah so now we are done with the greeneries um let's actually work to the playground for the pandas all right so for the playground for the pandas i think i was gonna make like a platform right here so this one two three just like that and then one two three one there and then right there so because based on the picture that i saw they had like a sm a small platform where they can play around so i'm trying to mimic that so we're, we're gonna use some spruce trap doors because it's, it is much thinner than the slabs and we're gonna put also right here and as you can see i already textured out the water stream right there with only cobblestone i think that already looks cool without the andesite and other stuff and we are done with that platform let's add more here here and then here and th and then as you can see in my hot bar i also have some spruce logs because i can see some logs lying around on the panta enclosure on the google so i think i will also gonna do that so we have the platform here and then i think i will gonna put like a stair right there and let's, ac let's actually make it three stair like that then we're gonna put another trap door just like that and yeah i think this i think that this looks cool and then probably right here we can put some logs like that maybe and then maybe we can put another log right here um i think this is gonna be much longer than the other one i think like that um yeah what uh um yeah that, that actually looks fine with me and then we need to build another one right here i think i was gonna build some more rocks because there i i can i see a lot of rocks on the picture on the internet so i guess i, I will all, so i guess i will do that also okay i can speak today um yeah but this will just gonna be some small rocks maybe let's start with a cross like that and then a cross like 
that and then we're just gonna use some slabs some stairs some stairs again and then some slab maybe like that and then here we can use some slabs stair stair and then another stair maybe um yeah that actually looks pretty cool to me and then maybe we can put some slab around in some places just like that and then also do the same thing right over here and right there um yeah that actually looks cool now so i think let's just add let us just add some more leaves around maybe like that and then also right here let's add some more leaves just like that and yeah that actually looks pretty cool now so I'll, i will just gonna add some more small details around here and we will gonna add the pandas inside their enclosure all right guys so the enclosure is finally finished so i think i am satisfied on how this looks so basically i just added some grass around and some azure azure flowers i think those azure those azure flowers will give some more life and color to the place and i, I also added some sugarcane here because they, they also look like bamboo to be honest and then here the stone is now um, properly textured with cobblestone and now it's this is the time to add the pandas right here as you can see i have the normal panda and i got the red panda from the white creatures so let us add at least two of the same type i think so we're gonna put two regular pandas so one over here oh my gosh you look so cute and then let's add another one maybe right here and there we go they are so adorable just look at them and then we're gonna put um one red panda um wait you are a red panda i guess you're a red panda um and then another red panda maybe right here uh, yeah i didn't actually expected that red panda i thought they will also look like them but color red but yeah so that is how red panda look like in the add-on and um, the panda is just on vanilla minecraft so yeah and there we go they are look they look so cute oh my gosh so yeah so that is all for today's spot build zoo episode so i hope you guys enjoyed the episode and oh my gosh oh my gosh look at him look at him Oh my god, she looks so cute. Um, yeah, that's all for today's guys. If you do enjoy, don't forget to subscribe and don't to forget to leave a like. So I'll see you guys in the next episode of Spud Build a Zoo. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Spud out.